course, you're getting ready for uh, Iowa Oklahoma State. Uh, you know, a match that uh, I've been a part of since uh, 1983, so it's been a long time. Um, I've got a lot of good memories, and I got a lot of bad memories. Um, you know, the, I guess my worst memory is wrestling, uh, I think, in 1986. 85 or 86, and Greg Randall threw me on my shoulder, and I dislocated my shoulder, my first real injury uh, as a true freshman. And maybe it was 84, yeah, 83, 84. Bad memory, you know. Um, but the uh, good thing is I, I was able to come back, and uh, no, I wasn't a true freshman, I was a sophomore. Got to come back, and uh, that, through that injury, I learned a lot about myself. So it wasn't all, all bad. What does, what does the Iowa-Oklahoma State rivalry mean? Tough. It's tough. What does it mean? It, uh, you know, it's important to both programs. Uh, you know, it's, it's a dual meet, right? And, and it's not an indication of how we're going to do at nationals, but it's a once a year. Um, you want good memories. You know, as a coach, you want good memories. Why is this such a rivalry? Why is this such a big match? Why is it so important? Well, I think there's a history there. I think there's a history of, uh, uh, at time, there wasn't much respect. Uh, for each other. Um, I think we've, uh, it's grown to have a little bit of respect for the programs. And, you know, it doesn't mean it's not nasty. It's still tough. Um, seems like there's, in this match something happens that, uh, you know, you, you, you just you didn't see coming. You know, I mean, I, I can remember matches we won. We, were going, we went into Iowa and we were favored at two and maybe a toss-up at two and we'd end up winning six somehow. You know, probably the same from them. They probably had a couple of those as well. But uh, those are the things that happen in this dual meet. It gets uh, it gets to be, uh, uh, you know, tough. And, and, you know, for us, you know, you just can't have surprises, you know, against you. You need to have surprises for you. And when you have those, that team is going to win. Um. What's the preparation like this for the in today or the days leading up to the duel? Do you do anything different? Do you talk to them any different to get them fired up for for the Iowa match? I don't think you have to do a whole lot. They know what's they they know the the, the stake in this duel meet and what it means, you know. And and it is one moment in time. I mean, it's, this is your time, you know. And make it good, you know. So uh, and 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 most of the time the preparation's good, you know. I don't think we ever got beat because we didn't prepare well. And, when, and uh, regardless of what happens tomorrow, uh, our preparation was good, you know. So um, I'm not going to second guess that for sure. Uh, so um, you know what to expect. Expect yourself to prepare to make it hard. You know, nothing's easy. These dual meets aren't easy. They're hard, and they're hard to win. And uh, if you don't prepare for that, then you don't have much of a shot. What are, the, what are the biggest differences between the Iowa and the Oklahoma State wrestling programs? Uh, I don't know. You know, you've, you've heard through the years the difference in styles and stuff, but I think uh, there's a lot of similarities in it, you know. Uh, both programs, I think, want to win. Uh, both programs uh, probably feel they have a responsibility to win. Uh, you know, it's not okay to lose. Um, you know, so those are the similarities that uh, are the most important, I think, in far as outcome of of winning a lot of matches and having real successful seasons. Is this rivalry personal? Uh, I think so at times, you know. I mean, it, it's it important is. to me. What's that? Can you, like, I need the word personal in there because you're not going to Yeah. I would say that for this dual meet, to me, it, it, it's personal at times, absolutely. Um, you know, there's, there's some things that have happened in the past that, that make it a little bit more personal. Um, and I'm not just talking about, uh, you know, my injury, but uh, uh, some matches that, that, you know, you walked away and, and you had in your hands and, you know, they got away from you, you know, um, to, uh, you know, all kind of different scenarios throughout the year that, uh, that uh, you have to make it personal. I mean, I don't think if you, if you don't make it personal, it's, it's hard to, to be you know, the best you can be on that day for this dual meet. And that's what you got to be to win. You know, I don't think we've ever had a time where we've walked into this dual meet and you're going, this is a slam dunk, we're going to win it. I don't think there's ever been that time. You know, you, you, just, you just look at your own team, you know, and, and you go, we, we really need to make sure that this is hard, you know, and, and we make it hard. Um, and... I just know that in these dual meets that, uh, 
the teams that win are, are the teams that were hard that day, you know, and, and they wrestled in all kind of situations and, and they won scrambles and, and they got the turns and, you know, they didn't give up the easy takedown. Um, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, you wrestle the same opponent uh, two months later, it might be a different match, maybe an easier match, you know, maybe, you know, uh, but for a dual meet, they're all hard, you know. Teams thinking about winning and think each individual plays a role and, and uh, if they don't play that role, it's hard to win.